Hi, I'm Daryl Jones, Director of Research at Hedge Eye Risk Management. I'm here joined with my colleague, Matt Hedrick, who runs our Consumer Staples Research Group. And we're here to talk about uh, one of our best ideas, Lorillard, tickers LO. Matt put it on our best ideas list, and it's done very well today. Obviously up on you know, now confirmed rumors about a potential uh, merger in the industry. But we wanted to start off with Matt just kind of going over his thesis on Lorillard again. Yeah, sure. So we added it as a best idea in late February. And actually, interestingly, there was really no news at that time that yep. anyone was interested in acquiring Lorillard. So you know, our thesis really at that time was built on three things. And the first was really their core business, which is you know, menthol cigarettes. Yep. So what we've seen for menthol cigarettes is a real outperformance versus traditional tobacco. Um, so we think that was really one strong point that's really anchoring all this excitement. Um, the second point is uh, electronic cigarettes. So Lorillard owns Blue. Yep. Um, that's an acquisition they made in 2012. And, you know, really Blue is, is sort of the leader in e-cigs. They have just under 50% market share. And so that's another attractive component. Um, you know, we also had the opportunity to speak with a lawyer. That's right. Um, you know, who was an expert in tobacco. And, you know, he really helped inform our opinion that really there's limited um, regulatory risk. Um, on menthol specifically. So sort of the combo. Why exactly do you think there's limited uh, regulatory risk? There's actually a number of factors. Yeah. Um, the, you know, the biggest thing is really the political nature of the FDA um, and sort of how slow they move. Um, there's that. There's also the science component that really, there's no science that definitively says that menthol um, is more addictive than, than traditional tobacco. So those are kind of two anchoring points and just putting that together with his understanding of how the FDA, you know, may move, you know, it seems as if it's many years out, um, you know, gotcha. counted almost on two hands. So I guess it's, you know, kind of become an event, event driven name, which is not something you really saw coming, but is there an antitrust issue potentially with this merger, or do you think you know the merger, if it actually happens, will will get approved by regulators? Yeah, I mean, I think there's a lot of issues there. I mean, you know, combined, Lorillard and Reynolds would have 67% of U.S. menthol, yep. um, so that's obviously way too high. So I think the big discussion now is sort of how can Reynolds divest some of its um, menthol portfolio. So okay. that's sort of in the works now. Um, you know, one player that stepped up is Imperial yep. Tobacco. They've recently, uh, you know, did an offering, freed up um, nearly a billion dollars in cash. So they look like someone who's poised to go in and buy, um, you know, some of the menthol assets from Reynolds. That divestiture then might, um, you know, be enough for them to get over the hurdle, um, you know, to get a combined. Yep. You know, Lorillard Reynolds together. So you know, the stocks obviously had a, a really good run since you put it on the best ideas list up to date on, on these uh, merger, I guess, confirmed rumors. All right. But you still think there's some upside. You know, where, where do you think the stock could go and I guess what is the key risk to achieving that sort of price goal or range? Yeah, our target for an acquisition here is $80 a share. So that would be roughly 26% higher than yesterday's close of 63. So yeah. I mean, the stock's up another two, three dollars today. I think we think there's downside um, if a deal doesn't get done around 10% or less. So okay. I think the, the risk reward is, is pretty attractive here. Okay. Great job putting Lorillard on the best ideas list in, back in February. It's had a good run. Uh, you still like it. If you have any questions, feel free to tweet me at HedgeIDJ or tweet Matt at, at HedgeIStaples. Thanks.